This one time in math class? This one time in math class? Real stories from the classroom. So they want us to find H as indicated in the figure. They've given us not one, but two, maybe even three triangles. Well, what am I talking about? They've given us this outside triangle. This one. Boom. 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 I'm going to take that and I'm going to write it on another sheet of paper. Before I do that, they've told us that this is 329 feet. I don't question that. It's there in print. What I want to know is how long is this remaining piece? This piece. Right here. Do you know? No, we don't know. So what are we going to put? X. Fine. For sure. And that's the thing I want to put on my next slide. I'm over here. Big triangle. What's my base angle of this big triangle? 29.5. We're looking for H here, and we're going to find him. But this side over here, the bottom side, how am I going to put that together, the 392 and the X? Let's add them up, right? Their distances, it's added it. So we can add them. So this is going to be x plus, was that 300 what? 392. All right. So that's one right triangle for you. Let's go get the other one, now that we have it labeled with x. Dun, 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 dun. I'm talking about this smaller triangle here. Boom. We can go, we labeled this guy over here. Smaller triangle. My base angle on my smaller triangle was 49.2 degrees. So this one, 49.2 degrees. We didn't know how long the smaller side was, so we're going to call it x. And then we're looking for the height of that triangle. It's still h. And you're like, whoa, whoa, wait a minute. How does that help me find my indicated side? Ah, yes. I wish I had a way to relate the opposite and adjacent sides. How do you relate the opposite and adjacent sides? The tangent. Uh-huh. So what do we have? We have the tangent of an angle theta is the opposite, O, P, P, divided by a, D, J, and we can go and we can set that up for each one of these. Let's set it up for this smaller triangle now. So we're looking at the tangent of what angle? You're like, there's only one of them. I know. I get that. So the tangent of 49.2, that's going to be equal to, whoa, whoa, crazy equal signs, whoa, whoa, <laughs> yeah, it's just a really swervy equal sign, h over x, yeah, that's nothing new, all right, cool, the tangent of 49 point, what, 2, two. that's equal to h over x, what's the tangent of 49 points, and give me three decimal places, 1.159, that's equal to h over x. Okay, all we did is push buttons. Now we flip back to this other triangle. We can use the tangent here again, because my tangent of this angle is gonna relate the opposite and the adjacent. We can write that now. We can write the tangent of 29.5 is h over, wow. What is it going to be over? That whole dang thing. X plus 392. Wow. So then we pound that up. What's the tangent of 29.5? 0 0.566. Six. And then that's still going to be equal to H over X plus 392. 0 0.566. That's H a todo X más tres nueve dos. <laughs> <laughs> 392. What just happened? I don't know. Now we have a system of equations. What do we need to do? We need to solve. Here we have two equations and 
two unknowns. I say we use substitution. Yeah? Put me in, coach. I'm ready to play today. X is equal to H over 1.159. And I realized pink probably wasn't the color to write that in. But that's where we're at now. What did I do? I solved this top one for X. Why? Because I'm trying to get rid of X in the second one. We're going to take that and we're going to substitute it right in there. We're going to use substitution. I solved that one for x so that I could rid my equation of x's. Let's take h and say that's equal to 0 0.566 times x plus 392. Wait, wait, what did you do? I took this and solved it for h. So I multiply both sides by x plus 392, and that's what happened over here. Oh no! <laughs> what do I have? I have these two pieces. This is just, can you even tell what's going on? This piece? Oh. And this piece? Oh. I want to take those and transfer them to the next page so that we could see what's going on. So I have x is equal to, again, pink is not a good color. h over 1.159, h over 1.159, and then my other piece, h equals 0 0.566, 0 0.566 times x plus 392. What am I going to do now? Substitute. All right, so I'll put this guy right in there. And that's what's happening now. This is going to be h is equal to 0. 0.566 times h over 1.59. There you go. And that's not 1,000, no. Plus 392. Now what? Bam, bam. So H is, what's one point, or what's 5.66 divided by 1.159? 0.488. Eight. H plus, what's 0.56 times 392? So 0.622H is 221.5. I subtracted the 0.488 from both sides, and that's how I got the 0.622. And now divide both sides by 0.622. What's H turn out to be? 356.7. Whew! The 622? Yeah, that was H minus 0.488. And then there's a 1 in front of here. So you're all like 1.0. Oh, oh. Did I do it wrong? Be Whoops! <laughs> 0.488. I'm glad you asked. Bam! So that's a 10. This one got a borrow, borrow, borrow. You're nothing. You're 10. Now you're 9. Now you're 10. Now you're 9. Oh, 2. 1. No. 5? Did I do the subtraction wrong too? So is it 512? Yeah. Ha! Ah. See, I'm trying to point out some common errors, people. <laughs> Don't try to do it in your head. I, me I messed up so just so I could show you. So that was this piece here. Let's change it. Put it in a different color. Rewatching these is going to be terrible. <laughs> Point five, one, two. So then when I divide 221 by 0.512, what do I get? 433 even? Rounded. So what is that? Bam, bam, bam. That's this height. Rad. What was it? 433. Feet. And that was quite a feat. <laughs> this one time in math class. This one time in math class. Real stories from the classroom.